Welcome to Paranormal Night Shift, your home for all things that go bump in the dark and your fan stories told here. Today's story comes in from Stephanie and is entitled, A Lifetime of Haunting. As a child, I grew up in a house that was definitely haunted. We didn't have one or two entities, we had three separate ghosts in a house giving us paranormal phenomenon all the time. It didn't matter if it was day or night, it happened on a regular basis. In my bedroom, I had toys in my closet. These toys had to be plugged in or had batteries for them to work. Every night, my mother would make sure that I unplugged things because she was afraid that we would start a fire. But every night at 3 o'clock in the morning, my toys would light up, even the ones that had no batteries, even the ones that needed to be plugged in. They would light up and start making whatever noises they were supposed to make. In the daytime, I would be playing with my toys and my sister would hear me playing and she said she could hear me arguing with someone. It seemed to be very aggressive that someone was very loud and angry but when my sister or my mother or my father who all heard the same thing came into my room it would just be me. As a kid I told them that there was a little boy in there and he didn't like to share. Another incident that still scares me today one time my sister and I were doing laundry and the chest freezer door just flew open and slammed shut on its own. Shortly after that, the lights went out. As the lights came back on, my sister had this little blonde Barbie doll. Barbies don't talk. Barbies don't laugh. But this Barbie doll was sitting back on the chest freezer laughing at us. It, we were terrified. But the moment we turned around to go run and get our parents, the lights went off again. And then she was gone when they came back on. My sister never found that Barbie again. It was one that she used all the time and played with. We never found it. It just disappeared. Another time, my mother speaks of, she went down to get ice cream out of the freezer for me and my sisters. And as she's down there trying to get ice cream out of the freezer, she realizes she couldn't reach the ice cream. She needed to get a step stool or something. It was just too far down in the freezer. She bends down to go and get the ice cream and a boy hands her the ice cream. Now politely she says thank you, but then she's horrified to remember that there's no one in the house but me and my sisters. Another time, me and my sister were arguing, like sisters do, over what to watch on TV. I wanted to watch one thing and my sister wanted to watch the other. The argument kind of got heated, that's what sisters do. But my sister threw the remote. Something caught the remote midair and threw it back at my sister. It hit my sister in the head. It threw it violently at my sister. And then the TV changed to the news, something neither of us wanted to watch. We would see entities all the time. Like I said at the beginning, we had three, maybe four entities in the house. We really don't know. There would be a woman who was in a rocking chair. There would be an old man who would walk up and down the steps. There would be something very dark and malevolent that would show itself in the bathroom or in the mirrors. We just had a house full of action and paranormal activity. It became our normal. Unfortunately, unlike a lot of paranormal stories, ours doesn't go anywhere. Ours doesn't peak and culminate in some crazy exorcism. This was just our house. This was our normal. Mom and Dad continued to live in the house well after me and my sister moved out. After we moved out, I didn't have any other paranormal experiences. I don't feel like anything's attached to me just the house it's not malevolent it doesn't mean us any harm it just wants to be shown I guess we don't know who the new owners are we don't know if they're having any paranormal investigations or activities or anything like that but sometimes when things seem so strange paranormal can truly be your normal <laughs>